Good morning, my name is Wendy Little with Creation Devo, and this morning I'm answering a comment from one of my other videos, my uh, InDesign table styling video. I'll try to link it, remember to link it in the info up here, but what it was, was the user wanted to know how do you um, change, how do you set individual table styles? Like there must be a way, but I'm missing it. What is it? So I want to walk through real quick how to do it because there's there is a nuanced difference between table styles and cell styles so I have this one open here because I wanted to show you what cell styles are so this is just my workout routine like you know I, I set one up at the beginning of every month that kind of thing and all you do is that if you have well let's start with the window you go to table I'm sorry go to view window one of these is right um, go down to types and tables and you're gonna want to go to tables. Why do I feel like this was in different styles? Yes, styles. I'm sorry. Styles and table styles. <laughs> and it should bring up a palette that's already got some other stuff included with it. If you don't see cell styles, go to the same thing. Go to windows, go to styles, and then open up your character styles. I mean, yeah, cell styles, not character styles. I'm sorry. It's very early for me. What you want to do um, in cell styles, you'll see that I have the blue highlighted in blue because the nuanced difference is that cell styles affect just cells you know you can't you can't change like if you design something where your header is like deep purple on the background and it's got a certain font and that kind of thing those are cell styles they're not table styles table styles apply to the entire table like if you want to set up like alternating rows and things like that and I'll show you that in the next one but like I have pink down here and I have yellow down here um, like these are my like presets right for for different things right but they are cell styles, the, the characteristics of the cell. And now I'm going to go down here to my second page. If you go to the second page, you'll see I've got this pink banner in the top, right? Um, but you'll see my character styles are set to none, or my cell styles are set to none. If you go over to table styles, for table style one, I've got this pink um, in the first row. And then if I go to select table style two, it applies a style to the entire table. And I've made the entire table blue. Now what this looks like is that if I were to go in here and I want my header to be a certain color and I'm going to set that style, to set the style, to create the style, you just have to have the table selected. It doesn't matter what cell you're in. Just have your cursor inside the cell. Go down here and hit this plus sign and it will create a new style. If I go down here and I select, I guess it must have been Sarah's style three, table style three. I haven't had my coffee yet guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, then you double click on it to open up your options tab um, table dialog box for it. And then I went down to fills just for a quick visual and then I set the first row to be pink. If I set the first row to be orange and then I hit OK, it would change to orange and now I've got three table styles but you can set things like your your grid patterns your alternating rows like if I go down to let's see I'm gonna alternate every well this is setting the first two rows and then if I want to set the next three rows to say blue you can see the preview right but let's say I didn't want to do that let's say none Let's say I go down to rows and I want to set alternating pattern of every other row and I want every other row to be, oh, what color should I use? Uh, we'll just use purple. See now my rows, my, it's changing the structure of the, of the cells of the row. Um, these are the row strokes. If I want to do fills and I want to do every other row, let's see every other row and I want every other row to be, what's the color we haven't used yet? Red. There you go. So you see how it's applying it to the entire table. These are characteristics of the entire table. The the strokes of your borders, the the background fill colors, the um, that kind of thing. And if you go to general, you should. I don't think you set fonts here. Yeah, yeah, you don't set fonts here. Fonts are a character style that you would set. So that's kind of where you're at with it. Um, you know, have fun with it, play around with it, but do remember that table styles apply to the entire table, the structure of the table and your cell tiles or your cell styles, wow, apply to the individual characteristics of the cell, like your, your fonts and your color, background colors and things like that, right? Um, where, where the alignment is, that kind of thing. I think I said fonts. It doesn't do fonts. I'm sorry, but you get the idea. That's the difference between them. Cell styles versus table styles. Um, if this helped you out, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.